Marty Rules. Abby Myers here, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web, www.ntnm.org. Uh, YouTube, you can get, get all the links from our website. Over 95,000 shows, Washington County. Thank you so much. Uh, Caps24.org is the website that Sonny Hirsch, my entire technical crew, he has. Uh, he's chairman of the District Advisory Committee of the 24th District. And go to your community policing meetings, get all your information on where the meetings are from the site, message boards. Good way to gossip with neighbors. Not a good way to, uh, police don't read them. Uh, ple people involved with the police don't read them. You know what? Go to, uh, go to the community policing meetings. It's the best thing. I also want to remind you that Jewish Chicago's election issue will be available free throughout the Chicagoland area starting on January 7th. And um, Facebook, wonderful thing. Got to meet all sorts of interesting people. Last, Wednesday, uh, last time we filmed, which was two weeks ago Wednesday, I had a dropout seven minutes after the dropout a fellow named Rick Bone, who I've known for quite some time, contacts me. We got a guest for 2 o'clock that same day. And he also, he's bringing another guest right now, somebody I've certainly read about, and you'll get a chance to meet him in person. He's running for commissioner of the 17th district, is it? That's correct. Uh, of the Cook County Board, and that is Dr. Irving, Dr. Victor Forrest. How are you? How are you? How are you, A.V.? Nice to meet you. First of all, my pleasure, and it's Avi's soft day. Avi. So I it's Forrest. Fourish. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Listen, I, you're, you, we've had an interesting conversation so far. You're, you definitely have a lot to contribute. Tell us why you're running for uh, Cook County Board. Well, I'm running for Cook County Board because we need to uh, restore honesty, integrity, and competence to the Cook County Board. And as a medical doctor practicing in Illinois for the past 25 years, having uh, managed several clinics, urban, suburban, uh, rural, I think I have the training and the skill set to bring a different perspective uh, to the county board. And I think uh, that's why I've been uh, endorsed by Forrest Claypool, Commissioner Larry Suffrenden, Mike Quigley, uh, John Fritchie. I think that's why the governor has appointed me to the Illinois State uh, Health, to the Illinois State Health uh, Commission. And uh, I feel that uh, it's time for me to give back. I've lived the American dream. I've, uh, I came here from Poland when I was four years old and I was lucky to go to good schools and uh, with the support of my parents I finished medical school and where I met my wife who was also a physician and uh, I wanted to give back and uh, politics shouldn't be a career, it shouldn't be a job, it should be public service. Mm. The only thing, I, you know, first of all you've got a very impressive list of people backing you and Larry suffered in particular is somebody I think the world of. Um, I will say when you talk about restoring uh, integrity of the Cook County Board I'm not sure there ever wasn't any integrity there. It'd be nice to get, I mean, Larry's a good guy. There's some integrity there, but, but they, they could use a big dose of it. Well, I, th I think that uh, the, uh, the, the people, uh, there, there, there is a core group of reformers. Obviously, uh, Forrest Claypool is someone uh, whoever, who is synonymous with reform. Unfortunately, he's leaving. Uh, and uh, uh, Mike Quigley got a promotion. Uh, he's a great guy, uh, and I think he, he, uh, he had his... Uh, he had his sights on, on the right target when he was there, and I hope to continue in that tradition. All right, sounds good. So, um, okay, you've got one of the most unusual shaped districts I've ever seen. I mean, the word gerrymander, I think, was, was uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, g give us the district boundaries so people watching will, will know, you know, where, the, where you are. Well, I actually looked up the word gerrymander on Wikipedia after I saw this district's uh, <laughs> outlines, but uh, it, it starts uh, up in Wheeling, uh, Prospect Heights, Mount Prospect, and it goes all the way down to Tinley Park, and it's 54 miles long. Wow. And in, in some areas, it's as narrow as just a few blocks, and it's, it's much uh, thicker uh, on the bottom and on the top. So some people call it a, a barbell district. Some people call it a bowling alley district. I like bowling alley. It's kind of long and, <laughs> and uh, kind of reminds me of a bowling alley. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, there's one congressional district where they just zag around every other neighborhood. It's the only thing I've ever seen that even comes close to, uh, to, to the way this thing is carved out. So, you, okay, you're putting a lot of miles on, I imagine. <laughs> We're putting a few miles on, but uh, the, 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 the reality of politics today is it's going to be uh, air war, as they say. Uh, yeah. Mail, and, uh, well, not, not so much air mail, but uh, definitely, definitely mail. And... Uh, it's, it's hard to reach all those constituents. There's a, uh, we, we think there's going to be about 22,000 households that are strong Democratic uh, voters. 
and we're certainly going to be trying to send all those people mail to, to learn about me and uh, to, to hear what qualifications I have and what I can bring to the county board. Yeah, I know that some of the candidates, like for instance, uh, Terry O'Brien was talking about uh, the, the amount of, of things that just aren't even billed. I mean, somebody shows up in Cook County Hospital. I, I shouldn't bring in a particular candidate because I don't want to involve you with the. There's four different people fighting that one out. You've got your own fight here. But, but um, I mean, just the billing procedures and what's involved in, in the hospital. I mean, I, I can't believe this kind of stuff that the county's not doing right now. It, it, it does seem to be uh, very extraordinary because it would be so easy to fix. Uh, there are people out there who are expert at uh, billing and coding and things like that. And I've been doing that in private practice for my own practice. Uh, for uh, almost 25 years and uh, have been uh, involved in the hospitals and, and normal hospitals uh, actually have people who assist you and make sure that everything is coded and uh, that, ev the bill that the uh, services are provided for are appropriate to the diagnoses and that all the diagnoses are, are entered into the medical record so that the appropriate funds can be then dispersed to the hospital. Uh, and if this isn't going on uh, at County Hospital, it's just, I, I can't imagine why. It's, 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 it's a mystery. It's amazing. Well, it's amazing. I mean, it's just, it's Roy incompetence at its best. It's just write us a check <laughs> because write us a check. It's, it's ridiculous. It really is. Um, you know what, I, I, I just think the idea of having a doctor in office would definitely give a, a different perspective. And, and, and after all, there's the, about the most important thing they do are the medical services throughout the county. It's, uh, it's, it's a big portion of their budget. It's about a billion dollars in their budget. Uh, they have a $3.2 billion budget. This is 40% of their budget. And uh, this is the thing that they, that they actually do administer. The county board has the most input into the uh, health services because, as we know, Sheriff Tom Dart, he takes care of the Sheriff's Department, he administers that. Dorothy Brown administers the circuit courts. The, those people are actually elected officials and the, the county board is a taxing body that, that passes through the funds mm. uh, to those folks and they hire their own people and administer their own departments. If people want to contact your campaign or contact, uh, who do they, where do they go? victorforus.com, V-I-C-T-O-R-F-O-R-U-S.com. We want to thank you very much, Dr. Victor Forish. Is that correct? Or? That's correct. Very good. That's and I correct. want to thank Rick Bone for contacting me and bringing you here. And it's great to see you, Rick, after uh, all this time. And I want to thank my entire title crew, Sonny Hirsch. And, um, hey, don't forget Jewish Chicago, free January 7th. Thanks so much, Dr. Forish, and good luck. Thank you, Ivy.